must be going on, because if I'm not mistaken, he's the first guy she's brought home, right? Well, I'm sure it's just a friend. You don't bring a boyfriend over here unless it's a ritual sacrifice of some kind. <laughs> oh, hey, do you know anything about this Josh guy that Harris brought home? I've seen him on her Instagram. She was spray painting something on a building and he was holding her cans. I love you because you don't know what that means. The sink is backing up. That means they're taking a shower together. Oh, I doubt that. She's only known him for a couple days. At their age, a couple days is all you need to start soaping each other up. Uh, Mark, can you give us a minute? Yeah, good idea. Otherwise, I might figure out what soaping each other up means. Grow up, Nana. Josh is a boyfriend. All right, well, if he is, I need to know way more about him. Oh, I know all about Josh's type. Lots of hair, lots of lies. Not necessarily. I've dated a lot of bald liars. Some of them lied about having hair. I'm just saying, there is a right way to do this. First, you tell the mom how young she looks. Then you wait until everybody goes to sleep. Then you sneak to the backyard and have sex behind the chicken coop. A little respect, that's all I'm asking for here. She's 18, Darlene. It's not the end of the world if Harris has shower sex. You better hope that's all they're doing up there. What do you think they're doing that's worse than sex? Oh, I'm not getting into it with you squares. <laughs> Hey, I'm Darlene, Harris's mom. Oh, you're Harris's mom? You look so young. Oh, I'm not the type that needs that kind of thing, but thanks. <laughs> okay, if I grab a couple sodas, Darlene? Oh, sure, Josh. I just put some in the fridge. And you know what? While you're in there, why don't you hang out with Harris's aunts? They're super curious and fun to talk to. Sure. <laughs> hey. So, uh, sit down a minute, Josh. <laughs> That was a quick shower. Yeah, Harris wanted to take hers, and I'm just grabbing her soda. Separate showers, noted. Squares. <laughs> oh, you may want to fix your water pressure, by the way. It's somewhere in between a trickle and a leak. So we're to take from that that at your house you have great water pressure? Good to know. <laughs> so your house with good water pressure, uh, you live there alone with a roommate or... Maybe a wife? Yeah, I'm not married. So you're living with your girlfriend? I'm sorry, boyfriend. Uh, I live with my folks, and it's strictly platonic. Good. So you and Harris camping out at the protest together. Are you together together, or is this one of these uh, everybody's loving everybody deals? And that's not a judgment. She's a freak. You know, we're really not into labels. We're just hanging. I think Harris is great, and she's got this aura of positivity and light around her. Yeah. After a couple weed gummies. <laughs> That's not a judgment either. She's an alcoholic. <laughs> Harris really wanted her soda. What'd you guys find out? Did you just walk around the house? He's not married. He and Harris are definitely a thing, although they're not labeling it. And he and his folks have great water pressure at home. Oh, my God. They're a thing? This is it. This is Harris's first real boyfriend. What are you so worried about? Let's see where this goes. We know where this goes. You Connor girls always marry the first guys you bring home. Roseanne did, you did, and so did you. No, that was a little different. We didn't have a lot of options. We were living in a run-down, crowded house, and we were trying desperately to get the hell away from our family. Okay, we really got to find out about this guy. Build something? Yeah, I really need a closet in the basement. Uh, you know, a closet is basically a square, right? Because that looks like an optical illusion of some sort. 
clearly, I breastfed so long today, the baby sucked out all my brains. <laughs> well, hey, I'd love a project. Shopping for other people's groceries isn't as fulfilling as it sounds. <laughs> Why don't you let me help you build a thing? Oh, that's sweet, Ben, but these aren't the hands of a carpenter. These are the baby soft hands of a man who picks out other people's toilet paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> I grew up in my dad's hardware store, okay? I could do something simple like a closet. Come on, let's go down to the basement. We'll get the right measurements. Okay, but don't tell my dad. The poor guy feels like he has to do everything around here, so I wanted to surprise him by having it done already. Uh, I've always felt bad that he wanted sons and he had me, Darlene, and DJ. <laughs> How are we going to keep your dad from seeing it? Doesn't he go down there once in a while? Oh, nah. His knees are shot. Uh, the stairs are like a vertical moat. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I got caught up at work. Wow, this looks great, Dad. So, Josh, love your mother, hate your mother. <laughs> that is so funny. Josh's parents wanted to know the exact same thing about me. <laughs> Boy, that was a tough moment. <laughs> So you, uh, you met Josh's parents already? Oh, yeah, just on the phone. Josh was telling me all about their protest plans. Yeah, we are ready to occupy major financial institutions in order to make a point about the uneven distribution of wealth. Interesting. Because if you start breaking into banks, I think the police will enjoy the opportunity to debate your political beliefs with repeated nightsticks to the head. That's a chance we're willing to take. You guys have no idea how bad the income inequality is in this country. I have some idea. <laughs> Would you like a jelly glass for your generic cola? Look, I understand that you're willing to take a chance with your own head, but now you're talking about my daughter's head. Well, Mom, that's the only way to get social media coverage. I mean, Josh knows what he's doing. He's gone to a million protests. He's kind of a genius at this stuff. Mm -hmm. If they come at us, we're just going to live stream it. I have a video of me getting hit with a tear gas canister in Philly. There was blood everywhere. 30,000 views. <laughs> That's insane. Mom, I know you're kind of nervous about this, but don't worry. We know what we're doing. We should probably get going. Gonna need this for the tear gas. That, that's almond milk. <laughs> this is bad. Harris is listening to this kid, and the only thing we know about him is that he can't wait to get into it with the cops. You gotta go online and see if this kid's got a death wish, or is just talking like that to impress Harris. With you and your sisters, the only way I could get information was by giving your boyfriends a friendly squeeze right where the spine meets the brainstem. Uh, times change. Okay, where do you want the shelf for your shoes? One shelf? Not Darlene. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? You made it across the moat. Hey, Dad. What's that supposed to be? Uh, a closet. It's almost done. All it needs is a coat of paint and a door. <laughs> I asked Ben to help me. I grew up in a hardware store. Well, if you'd grown up in a house and gone to school, you would have known you need masonry anchors. There's cinder block behind that. You can't just join it together like this. Well, that's one opinion, but the way I was taught, those screws will work. You just have to use the right size drill bit. You know what, you're probably right. I've only got 45 years in the construction business. What do I know about building things in my own house? It looks like you've done a great job. Ugh. Oh, what are you doing? That took hours. You're so tired when you get home from work, I thought you'd be happy you didn't have to do it. Well, I'm not happy because now I gotta redo it. Nobody does anything in this house without asking me first. You know, that doesn't prove anything, you know? You could do that to any closet. Josh is full of bull. I can't even find that Philadelphia blood everywhere thing he was talking about. And, by the way, never Google that. Keep looking. I want to be sure that Harris is safe with him. We checked all the records, every one of his social media accounts. We didn't find anything weird. Give it up. Oh, you stupid old women. <laughs> If you want to know about someone, you don't look at what they post. Everybody lies. You got to look at their parents or at their idiot friends who drunk post. That's where you get the truth. Here's his dad. Oh, whoa, look, 